Good afternoon, Sestonians, and welcome to the War Z. Now, this was going to be a first impression video. Oh, before I forget, I'm the Prime Minister of Biological Warfare Systematic here, and today we're going to be playing a little War Z. Now, this was going to be a first impression video, and fortunately, I was recording about 30 40 minutes worth, and uh, I forgot to realize that my traps wasn't recording my audio. Unfortunately, I am, of course, a bit angry at the game myself. Actually, that's a big lie. I'm very angry at the game. I'm very frustrated with it, I'd like to say. Yes, I'd like to say I'm very frustrated with the game. I would tell you why, because it is... Hmm, how can I put this without sounding negative and people bashing me for it? Well, you know what, I'm just going to say it anyway. It's a lot like Daisy. Okay, may as well pull it out there. What I do like about the game is it feels a bit more tighter control-wise. I think that's actually it. There are a few mechanics which I do enjoy compared to Daisy. Okay, but before that, we'll be talking to you about very quickly about what's happening on the screen, about the settings and stuff like that. So, what's happening on the screen? Well, there are five character slots, and there are two different game modes. There is a normal and hardcore. Now, these fellows have been played on normal mode, which essentially means that they die for an hour. Revive in uh, zero, 0 hours, 17 minutes. When you die, you have revive after an hour's time. Yes, I had four characters in the space of half an hour. I had, now, these guys, now, as you see here, the time played is five minutes, two minutes. Charles, 30 minutes, 1 minute. I'll actually tell you about the lives of these fellows very quickly. I'll get around to that in just a second. There's a marketplace. Actually, no, before I get into the marketplace, I'll talk about the pricing of the game very quickly. There are three different versions of the game you can purchase now. There is a survivor version, a pioneer version, and a legend version. Each one is cost $19.99, $39.99, and $59.99, respectively. The survivor package is very basic. You just get access to the game and the beta. The pioneer package, you get access to $15 worth of in-game currency. You get one month for stronghold map server hosting, and then you get a weekend pass with friends, you get free guest keys. The legend pack is pretty much the same, except for you get a £30 worth of in-game currency, you get six months of the stronghold map server hosting, and you get free keys as well. And of course you can buy this on PayPal, buy card, or buy uh, other methods, there'll be a link in the description if you want to buy it yourself. And yeah, okay, that's the pricing talked about very quickly. And without further ado, let's get talking about the things now. Now, after buying the game, there's in game currency. I assume you're going to in game currency in the game by doing certain tasks. Now, there's actually uh, jobs as well in the game. You could do jobs for people. I'm not sure how you earn money through that or even if it even works because I haven't even managed to survive long enough to even get that far. But let's talk about this very quickly. There are different Amazon magazines types. There are melee weapons in the game. You have a flashlight. You can hit people with a flashlight. That's good. I would like a spiked bat. In my time playing the game, I have not found a single thing aside from a bit of water and some food. Then you have your different little hats here. I'm not too sure if these offer any advantages or anything like that. It just appears to be uh, cosmetic only. I'd like to be a fireman. <coughs> I do apologise. <coughs> there's also an Alice rucksack. Okay, some base like some teddy bear pack. Oh, okay, I want that. That looks kind of cute. Night like vision goggles. Booty Desert Shadow. Then you have foods over here you can purchase. You can buy juice. Not a soup, electro aid, pasta, as well as MRE, meal ready to eat individual. Fantastic. Then we've got health options, uh, vaccines, time, ca time capsule. What's a time capsule? Honestly, I have no idea. Vein spider, all these other stuff. Then we have scoops for your weapons Cobra pistol flashlight, pistol laser, rifle flashlight, holographic, and stuff like that. Fantastic. Okay, Kim immunity is not quite up yet. Then we have the options. I'm actually. You know what? This is actually very good. I do like this. It's very intuitive. It's, very, it's not basic, but it's very PC gaming. It tells you how, how everything is, how it is. You can change the resolution, texture quality. Now, uh, the game only runs for 20 frames per second on me on low setting, even when Fraps is recording. On anything higher, it just seems to drop down to 12 FPS, so I do apologise for that. Then, of course, you can change the full screen, the anti aliasing uh, You know what? Keep that on, why the hell not? The game looks okay with it. V-Sync, go and turn it off. Apply. Yeah, I'll have to restart the game for that. Forget that for the time being. SSIO, I do not know what that is. Then you can just change all the different details over here. Mesh detail, low detail, medium settings. Okay, fantastic. Communications volume. There is no in-game chat at the moment. Kind of disappointing, especially when you need, need to talk to people and react to certain situations. I'll be going on about that again in a second. Controls, are um, they're okay. Like I said earlier, they're quite tight. I guess that's the difference between this and Daisy. Daisy is, of course, a mod for Armored 2, a very tactical game with about 5 million different keyboard presses. This is actually very basic, very... Uh, third person, first person. It's not complicated at all, you know where all the buttons are at all times, and it's... <coughs> yeah, it's actually very basic. It's not very basic, but it's quite basic, and I do... Uh, that's kind of something I enjoy about the game. Now, I haven't actually been able to grab a gun and fire with it, so, so I can't tell whether or not you can run while move, shooting, or if you have to stand still or not, a bit like in Daisy. There's also uh, scopes, there's iron sights, you right click to zoom down the scopes, or... Yeah, you right click to zoom in and you let go to zoom out. Fair enough, okay, that's that. Now, 
I think we're about done here. We have the language, English, pretty much. Okay, now we're back to the game. Now let's talk about these guys a second. Let me tell you about their lives very quickly. This is FM Systematic for Field Mastic Systematic. He survived for five minutes. What happened to him? Was he spawned? We found a building we wanted to search. Ran around for a bit, saw a zombie. We clubbed him with a flashlight for about three minutes, got bored, turned around, and then got one shot by a per fucker with a uh, shotgun. So, yeah, that was a good life, that. So, there's banditing in the game. This, of course, uh, furthers the causes of uh, open world uh, PvP games with zombies thrown into it. That's why I feel this game is. Zombies are actually bastards, they can kill you in about five hits. I don't like that. I think that zombies should uh, take a, be a lot harder for, you to, for them to kill you, and it should be vice versa as well. It should be hard for you to kill them, unless you have the appropriate weapons. I mean, I guess a flashlight is a very weak weapon. The game is supposed to be orientated around uh, melee weapons. But unfortunately, I haven't seen much evidence of that, because I've been gibbed all the time. Okay, we're going to talk about possibly not a bandit here, my second character. Now, uh, what happened to her? Yes, yeah, she got chased by a dead policeman zombie into a building, and she got killed in about five hits. She lasted for a whole two minutes. Then we have Here to Help. Here to Help spawned in a neutral zone. I believe there's zones in the games where nobody is allowed to fire many weapons. These are highlighted on the map by red circle areas. Very good for hiding if you're being chased down, I guess. Sorry, just bear me a second. Oh yeah, drink of water. That's needed. I've got a bit of a sore throat. <coughs> Sorry about that again. I do apologise. Then we have Mean Machine, who survived for all but one minute. We have Mean Machine, we found a crashed helicopter. There's a flash of flare next to it. Oh, look at that, you know what, I'm dead. Yeah, literally, I'm dead when I'm spawned. I felt like I was going to die when I spawned, so I just decided to run around the place. I mean, it's a new character, you don't have much on you. If anybody's going to shoot you, they're going to get barely anything off you anyway. And the only thing they're going to be doing is simply wasting the ammo. I feel that's one of the problems with the game, if, since it's a PvP... Since it's, I'm going to call these games PvP open world games. Open world PvP games with zombies in them, because that's the way I feel about them at the moment. There is barely any cooperation or any talking like that. There doesn't any need to be a, a part of a community, and just killing each other is pretty much... Well, the best way to survive, I guess, you know, you get to loot uh, water and uh, food of dead players, easy enough, loot what items and guns they had, it's an easier way to do it. And we mean machine here, we found a helicopter, ran up to it, oh, surprise, surprise, there's zombies around there, fuck, okay, what am I going to do? Zombies run faster than you, that's what, it, that's what I think anyway. I'm not too sure if it was at one time where I just turned around to look at the zombie and I walk backwards slower than the zombie walks forward towards me, but no, actually, zombies caught up to me, that's what, what, that's what happened in the game. There doesn't appear to be much stealth in the game either, because well, when, you, when, when you're spawned, there isn't any reason to be stealthy, is there? I mean, you've got nothing on you, you've got nothing to lose, you may just run around like a headless chicken. And we're, really, and we're mean machine here, at the moment we got up to the helicopter site, oh, look at that, there's a fire around there, zombies around, shit, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to run up to this hill. Hold on a second, there's a fucker there with a sniper rifle aimed at my head. Flashlight's actually blind enemy players, apparently, so that's always going to be a good thing, I guess. But unfortunately, my flashlight did not work, and I got one shot by some fecker with a sniper rifle. What the fucking do? Yay, congratulations! You're managing to kill new players because you're fucking skilled, aren't you? I'm sorry, yeah, that annoys me. Killing new players is it's just not beneficial at all. Why the fuck do you do it? If they've not got some score. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a big lie, actually. There is a, there's a score. If I look on the right side of the screen here, you get killed zombies, killed bandits, and killed civilians. So I guess you do have a score. Alignment is neutral, so I guess if you kill more civilians, you get uh, bad or good. There's they're going to be different maps by the look of it, because the last map was Colorado, so hopefully there's going to be another maps. Okay, enough about that. We're going to get started on the game, but I'll just a quick reminder. All the servers appear to be in night time, so chances are you're not going to be able to see Feckle. Okay, into the new survivor's name. Gonna die any... Anyway. Hardcore mode, because if he dies, I'll be able to use a new character slot, hopefully. Continue. Okay, what head can we give him? We're going to give him that hair, we're going to give him that checker. No, we're going to give him the army of a body. And we're going to give him legs. There isn't really that much customization to clothing, but hopefully that'll be sorted out very later. Do you remember that the game is actually in alpha still, so there's not going to be two point worrying about what's happening on the screen right now. I think that what you're going to be seeing right now is kind of... is somewhat representative of the final product, but it's not going to be uh, the final product. There's still room for changing, there's still room for things to be changed and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to play the game. Now there is a server browser, you can of course quick join. At the moment, all the games are in the US servers. I don't think that actually affects the ping at all because, well, my ping's been fine, really. Alright, that's actually by two bars. So, Game World Colorado, what's the... Oh, it hasn't been favorited, okay. So we're going to go US server 3. Join server, 39 people out of 40. And we are in. Well, this is a loading screen, as you can see, there are a group of uh, fans from a dub dubstep concert, possibly Dead Mouth 5, or whatever the heck he's called. 
the music's pretty much the destroyed their brain, dr their eardrums, they blinded them through uh, vibrations, and their mouths are profusely bleeding, and they are probably going to die somewhat soon. But damn hell, they enjoyed the dubstep concert. And then you got the logo in the background. Takes a few moments to load up, but I can't really complain about that too much. It's a loading screen, come on. But my graphics are low. Can I complain about that? But I currently only have 4 gigs of my PC, so it might be something to do with that. Also, I'm not too sure why the graphics aren't really that good for me either. I don't know why I can't run it more than 20 frames per second. I mean, I've got like a 2 gigabyte hard drive with graphics card in here, for goodness sake. Can't complain too much about that now. Maybe it's because I've got like a dual monitor setup. I mean, that's a recent thing for me. I've got a new monitor a couple of days ago. I've got it hooked up finally. It's a nice little setup. Works well for me. I can watch YouTube videos while I'm getting killed in Dota 2. Okay, I think we're in now. Are we? Are we in? Hello. Okay, we were. Oh, sunlight! Yes, the sun is rising. And where are we now? Okay, push M. M was on map. We appear to be on a bit of a mountain. Okay, this is doable. So you see these little red circles on the map? These are safe zones, and this is our map over here. It doesn't feel open world, it just feels like everything's surrounded by mountains and you're in a deathmatch arena. I mean, I know it felt the same in DayZ, but it's more open worldy. This is very rocky, but very mountainy. But I suppose that's probably just the theme of the map. Okay, you've looked down the chapter on the bottom left. We have the Lek Dick, whose name is in yellow. That's good. And by that, we know that he's either a pioneer or a legend. I haven't really figured out which one yet. Is it? Uh, he is possibly... Blah, 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 blah. No, I think he's actually a legend because his name is highlighted. Okay, let's talk about the game. I have no primary weapon. Two is for flashlights. We have a nice little flashlight here. This is a nice little addition. You can hit things with a flashlight. It's a very weak weapon. Doesn't really work too well. We have bandages. We can use these bandages if you are hurt. And if I push four or five, I can get out my can of soda or my granola bar. But chances are I will consume it by pushing the buttons. Down the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is my health as well as my uh, food and my water. Water is the right half of the circle. And my food is the left half of the circle. These go down as I run and perform actions. Top right-hand corner of the screen, we have a vision as well as a uh, hearing. If I run, the vision goes up, and if I crouch, the vision goes down. I can even go prone to reduce my vision completely. This allows me to sneak around zombies. I can like sprint. This is actually the quickest I can crawl. Okay, so if I push Z, C, I can see my view, which is always good. Push Z, and we start to begin. Okay, so this is our world. This is our map. This is the War Z. And uh, this is the town I was in earlier and got ganked. But you know what? We're going to explore it anyway, because why the heck not? So we're going to run away. So, oh, actually, this is running on 28, 29 frames per second. Okay, I guess that's good. We can jump as well as space. Yay! Okay, and this is our flashlight. Probably not going to lead it later on. Although it's probably going to be used for whacking things. Now, of course, since it's pretty much halfway through night escape, it's a 457. Okay, this is doable. Now I can sprint as well. Now you see there's an orange bar around the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. That gradually wears down and needs recharging after a while. I guess that's a good thing. I guess it shows that there's stamina in the game and your character needs to rest every now and again. And let's survive! I guess that's the whole point of the game. I think I got really annoyed early because I just wasn't surviving well enough. Although it was probably due to my own fault that I was getting caught by zombies. Come on! I suppose I'm running down a mountain. But you could have slid down, I guess. Okay, time to use the bandage. Three. And I use the bandage. Okay. So I can't... That, okay. That, for some strange reason, I wasn't able to look further down. Okay, so when you're sprinting, you can't look that far down. Or up. Also, your turning is a lot slower. I guess that's... Balanced enough. Okay, just gonna try and make it be slowly down the mountain range. Now, like I was saying, there's uh, no uh, audio chat. You can only type using F1, F2, and F3. There we go. Proximity global. We're just gonna chat to everyone. Let's be friendly. Hello, everyone. There we go. Just gonna be friendly to everyone. Let's see if I don't get killed. Flashlight. Beep, bop. I like the flashlight settings. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm fucked, aren't I? Can I turn it off? Okay, we're going to duck down. We're going to get the light down as low as we can. I'm going to check the settings very quickly and see if I can't turn off this flashlight. Reload, steady, handgun, item one, item two, chat, toggle night vision, inventory, empty hands is back. So I can't actually get rid of this torch now. I cannot really equip it. That's not good. I'm stuck with this torch now. I'm just going to double check that again. If there's any way for me to be able to change this, somebody please tell me. <laughs> Jim Crouch, Interact, Reload, Change, fire, Reload? No, so I'm stuck with this flashlight now, aren't I? That's good, isn't it? Alright, let's try and make our way off the mountain and hopefully not get shot. Yeah, that's probably going to kill me, that drop, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can't find a better way down. It's 
So yeah, like I was saying earlier, I feel that the game suffers from Daisy Syndrome, where the good players are constantly going to own everyone, while the not so good players who haven't been able to survive long enough to be able to get any good items, get really fucked over. However, there is one good thing about this, and that it takes a few seconds to log out. That means if you get killed while trying to log out, oh, that's about to text over there. Can I go inside of here? No, I can't. Also, the ambience in the game is very... You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about the ambience. The ambience is pretty good. It's very scary. Like you hear a random gunshot in the distance. Although I'm not too sure if that's actually somebody shooting at me or not. Because that was in the life where I got killed. So I'm not too sure if someone was actually shooting at me. But yeah, you'll hear zombies moaning in the distance. It, it feels really close, but then you turn around and there's nothing around. It scares you, it's got good ambience in the game. I'll, I'll give it that, it's got good ambience. Thumbs up, systematic, good ambience, war Z. Gameplay mechanics, however, are a lot to be desired. So yeah, like I'm saying, it's... it's just, oh, fuck, we've got a zombie. Okay, you know what, this is a good time. Zombie, smack it upside your head. There's only one of them. Let's keep hitting him. Let's see how long it takes me to kill him. Oh, he staggered there. Ooh. Did I kill him? Nope. Yeah. Die, zombie. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. Die. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. Die. No, he's not going to be dying any time. He died. Holy shit, how do I loot his body? Um, he had nothing on him, it appears. Okay, fair enough. We killed a zombie, though. Congratulations, Sister Malik. I'm a cold, stone cold murderer. Yeah, check me out. So, this is the city. Cities are probably not going to be the safest place to go, but they're, all, of course, going to be the best place to find loot. Hopefully, that's going to be the balance between it, or is this not going to be anything found at all? Is there anything with body around? Shh, not again. I'm not hitting you. I'm better than that. Of course, we're not. We're going to hit him. Okay, did you see how fast he actually caught up on me even when I was sprinting? Okay, you know what, I'm actually low on stamina, so chances are that's my own fault. But the zombies are pretty fast in the game, they can catch up to you quite easily. I'm not too sure if they're going to use running zombies or just like a standard walking speed zombies. Zombies, of course, in uh, Mars Zombie Lord, they are shufflers, they walk quite slowly. But the main, that's the main disadvantage, but the advantages of, of course, they are numerous in numbers. So I'm sorry, I'm just going to beat the... Got, him again. Got another one, I'm stunk or killer, aren't I? That's two kills, motherfuckers, who's next? Who's fucking next? Okay, we have a bus over here, might be worth checking. Tell you what, I'm just gonna walk. Okay, crouching is very slow, it's not worth crouching, I don't think. Can I sprint while crouching? No. So there's no fast crouch sprinting. So the servers at the moment are. Uh, yeah, it's gonna knock you the fuck out as well. Come on. That's a nice cleavage you have there. Be a shame if something were to happen to it. Die! Is there one thing I'm missing about the game? I wish there was crosshairs in it. It would just feel a bit more convenient. Oh, shit, I thought you died. Sorry, they, they uh, lumber around too much when you hit them. Please die. See, you think he's, they're dead? Oh no, just running over. What's the range you can hit it at? Okay, so that's the range. And you're dead. No items again, fair enough. Let's see if there's anything on the bus here. Third person view again. Okay, see, it's gonna get serious now. Somebody mumble at me? Oh, there we go. Hello, like sir, can I help you? Serpent strip, so yeah, you can move on hitting things. Okay, so we've got a bottle of water on the floor there. I'm also going to hide in the building, make sure nobody can see me up from outside. Although, I suppose when they look in, although I suppose if anybody's outside, they're going to watch their light flashing around, aren't they? So, we're going to beat on the zombie again. I think in my third life, I came up to a group of like four of them, came into a uh, found myself a camper van, hid inside of it, and they followed me in. I was wailing on them all, but they of course killed me. It appears that you can only hit one zombie at a time. It's gonna take an awful long time to die. Be nice if they have to. I mean, the objective right now is simply to kill the zombie. And if you push and hold E, you can pick up a water bottle. Yay! You push the I to check my inventory. Water bottle. It appears I can only hold uh, up to six items. Also, if you notice that item there, it was actually uh, semi-transparent. There's like a blue outline around it. I think that's good. It allows you to see your items in the nighttime. But I suppose it doesn't. But I suppose it actually rewards people who aren't really interested in looking all that much as well, so I guess that's the downside. I mean, if you're not actively looking for items in the... Oh shit, where did you come from? I reject your terrorism with the flashlight. The flashlight is good. Okay, so there's stairs as well. I would like to talk about the graphics, but unfortunately everything's been pitch black for ages. Oh shit, is that another one? I hope not. Okay, when they lumber around, I'm just going to back off a little. Let's make sure there's no one else here. He's trying to punch me! Zombies bite! Oh no, what am I talking about? Zombie lore can be interchangeable between anything you like because zombies aren't real. They're not exactly staple zombies which everyone needs to adhere to. But I do like the light, see how it's uh, 
partially flashing off the zombie's shoulder there. This is pretty good. But oh, it's actually going through the zombie, so the light effects aren't that good on the lowest setting. And once again, just going to keep um, spamming mouse one button. I hope that these flashlights don't actually run out of endurance or anything like that. Keep hitting the zombie. He'll die eventually. Yes! Second kill, bitches. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to keep looking around for items. You know, I'm actually a bit more relaxed and happy now, possibly because I haven't died in the first five fecking minutes, being ganked by any anyone with a hard on for PvP. Okay, going to talk. Uh, uh, come on, talk. Proximity. Hello. I see. Is my health regenerating? I think it's all a little bit bar go up a notch. I'm not too sure if that's just me uh, missing or not. Okay, what are these? Are these pills? Antibiotics! Okay, I'll take those. I don't know what they do, but I think I'm going to take them anyway. I'd like a gun or maybe possibly like a spiky baseball bat. That'd be really helpful. Can I pick up more than one item? There are existing items added to. Okay, so you can pick up more than one item. That's good. Hello? So I guess it's uh, divided between uh, item types, not item amounts. Although I would like there to be more... Uh, how can I explain this? I feel that the inside of this building feels empty. I also came across a building which I couldn't, uh, oh, I couldn't enter earlier. Okay, I'm not going to complain too much about that. I suppose you can't enter every building. Maybe you bought us up or something because it was a pretty look. It looked like it was a pretty usable door, but of course it wasn't available. You know, I couldn't walk through it, could I? I couldn't walk into it even. Okay, I'm not finding any items. This is not good for me. I need something that's better than a freaking flashlight. And look at this. We've got some very good sniper positions. Sterile. What are you? Your energy drink. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. New item added. Thank you. But a new item added. I oh look at that! I have more than six. Sorry, those are my numbers, aren't they? Yes, one of six are my numbers. Unfortunately, I haven't found any good uh, items yet, so no new. Okay, there is a zombie around though. Gonna have to watch out for that, aren't I? Hello, Mr. Zombie. Can we be friends? I'm not gonna judge you just because you're missing an eyeball and your face is very gritty looking. Yeah, we can be friends. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge you. It's cool. See? Oh shit, it's a killing party! Oh. Yeah, well fucking played! Congratulations! Hey. Yeah, that's what I hate about the game. Useless faggots fucking PvPing all the time. Where's the humanity? I suppose, the P I suppose they're sticking together, but look at these useless cunts. Why did they kill me? What was the point in it? What did they gain from it? Oh yeah, they gained a fucking useless number. Urgh, that's frustrating me. So yeah, if you want to quit the game, you just have to push escape and quit. Would you like to quit the game? Yes, that's the only way you can exit from that screen at the moment. Ah, dear fucking me. How come I couldn't find any decent items? Also, were they running faster than me? Look. No, no, what are you on about? This is hardcore. He's supposed to be dead. He's supposed to be dead. Delete. Okay, you're gonna delete half these characters. You can at least delete them and start anew. I don't have to wait an hour to play the fucking game. You can revive him. No, I can revive him. Yeah, this is my first character, Field Medic Systematic. One moment, please. This is my fellow who was shot in the back by some bastard. So we're going to dive once again into the game. As you can see, it's PvP open world with zombies in the background. That's Total Biscuit's analogy of the game, and damn hell, you know what? I'm actually going to adhere to it. Getting another drink of water there. I mean, certainly there's got to be some way of encouraging people to band together. I suppose there is one way, and that's to freaking survive together. They won't need to, maybe there needs to be more zombies. That's my suggestion. More zombies, make them slightly slower. Make them, say, slightly faster than normal walking speed, but much slower than jogging speed. That'd be a good way to go about doing it. That way, that way you can outrun them. Also be nice if they had a, like a sort of... method of... how can I explain this? Off uh, losing interest in you. Okay, we're back into the wait, so I'm respawning in another area. Okay, so I actually know what I'm lying actually. I'm spawning pretty close to the city where I just was. With my shitty flash wait, I have no items. I have no items. Yay, that's fantastic. Although I suppose it's night time. That's the city I was just in where I got fucked over. We're gonna head to this uh, trailer park up here. Yeah, we're gonna run up to the trailer park up here. I mean, yes, there needs to be a way of encouraging uh, more community, then there needs to be a way of encouraging people to stick together. To so not just kill the person who you're just seeing in front of you who only has a fucking flashlight. But they could do that by, uh, but one way they could do that is of course by, is by adding uh, audio chat. Audio chat is a great thing, it lets you, people, lets you tell people your intentions. But of course it brings up the whole, uh, can I trust you or not issue. 
But that's what the fun of the game, can you trust somebody or not? Well, I suppose it's a lot better than smashing them in the face to give, to give them a chance. But of course they can uh, stab you in the back, or uh, whack you in the back of the head with a flashlight. Okay, the sun is actually coming out, the game is looking a lot better. Fuck the city, I'm going to live on the outskirts. Of course I have no way of defending myself, especially with this new life. That's a shitty thing. That is a really shitty thing, you're making your character respawn with nothing on him. I mean, how am I supposed to defend myself against zombies? You've seen how fast those fuckers run. You've seen what little shit damage that flashlight did to him. I have to rack a zombie like 20, 30 times in order to kill him. And I would get started in the game with fucking nothing. Well, I'm heading up to this freaking park up here. See if there's any way to actually survive a little longer. This is going to be a uh, no fire zone, which will hopefully allow me to survive a little longer. Not get hit by, any by anything. But come on, what bunch of bitches they were. They could have traded with them. They could have negotiated with me. Maybe I didn't want to die, maybe I would have been willing to give up my items, maybe I would have been willing to even join up with them and hopefully survive a little longer, but nope, just got killed. Okay, there we go, we're in a safe zone, no weapons allowed, access to global inventory. Alpha, alpha test functionality, subject to change. Uh, ah, yeah, change backpack. Ah, uh, you can change backpacks. 12 slots, 20 kilogram limit, I have no different backpacks, okay, fair enough. Actually, is that a better map up there? No, still can't zoom in. Missions. Missions are something I haven't actually uh, followed yet, but they don't appear to be in the game at the moment. You can set up missions, or they can be NPC missions in the game, I do believe, where you can either, say, go out and look for some items for somebody, or then maybe escort somebody through a zone. It's pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting feature, but it's, of course, very abusable at the same time as well. Are there any items around here? I would like for there to be items. That'd be a big thing for me. Any buildings around in the area? I was in this area down here. This uh, bottom circle. There's like loads of buildings in the area, but unfortunately there wasn't anything I could actually find. I couldn't even see any energy drinks or water at that. Uh, I don't know if there's any zombies in these areas either. When I was in the last one there wasn't, of course, but... You know, you never know. People could sometimes mix it up a little. Although I suppose, you know, not allowed to use weapons, I suppose that's going to be a bit uninteresting if you're not allowed to shoot the zombies in the area. Oh boy, don't mind me, I'm losing my voice. I think I'm going to have to be ending the video just a little, in a little longer. Oh wait, there's a building up ahead there. I could uh, barely see that rock. Let's see if there's anyone around. Okay. No, no, I want to chat to them. Enter. Hello. Can I actually heal other people? That'd be very interesting to see. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, really bad. I'm losing my voice. I'm starting to feel a bit hoarse. Okay, is there any way to go around here? No, it just appears to be like a one way only. It appears to be the same uh, model of the area I was in just in. Oh, that's not very good. They could have, uh, they could have at least mixed it up a little. Made uh, each one safe zone look more unique. Yeah, this is pretty much just a copy and paste job. But that's very good, isn't it? I suppose if you're having like a bigger server, it would allow more people to be in here. It's quite empty. I don't feel like there's uh, anybody around at all. It would be nice if there's somebody to be around. If there's somebody around, maybe just have someone to chat to. Hello? No? Nobody around? Nobody want to play with systematic? No items, no weapons? There's lots of guard towers, but I haven't actually found anything in them yet. Also, is there any even any reason for guard towers? I mean, think about it. You're in a zone, you can't use any weapons. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Is there supposed to be like people enforcing these or something? Is there like a War Z police who will stop people from shooting in the safe zones? I don't think so. No, I'm not seeing any signs of uh, anything like that at all. Game is a bit jumping in this area. Although at least I can climb the crates. Although the bad side is there wasn't anything around. No, nope, absolutely nothing. The buildings are built on ramps. I suppose that's kind of interesting. Stops zombies from getting having easy access to people. This is actually like a tail straight out of the uh, the Warzy book. Hold on a second, does this actually have any uh, relation to that? I mean, I love the Warzy book, it was a fantastic read. I don't know if anybody's actually read that. It's about survival. It's a made-up book about survival council for fictional zombie war. 
And of course, none of the buildings are enterable. Yay! So I get to run around with fuck all again. And that little jump hurt me. Great. And also, the place appears to be a dead end. Joy. So what was the point of coming up here? Was I needing respite from survivors? No, I don't think I was. Let's see if there's a back way out of here. Looks like a zombie holding pen or something. Yeah, this place feels extremely uh, unneeded. That's the best way to describe this, and I don't give a fuck about losing health. Nope, nobody around, nothing at all. It's just a complete dead end. It's just useless space. What's the point in this? Why is it here? What benefit does the game have in order to have this place here? Bet everyone's hanging around in these areas over here, all, all up in the main area. Game feels rather empty as well, I hate to admit that, but it does. No, oh, fuck it, we're just gonna start up, a, start up another character. Ah, let's gonna click my neck a little. There we go. Disconnecting the game in five seconds. There you go. That's can't disconnect when you're getting shot at because somebody's gonna be able to kill you anyway. You have to make sure your location is safe before you log out. That's a good thing. I do enjoy that. Okay, gonna give it one last try. One last try. Gonna die. Normal mode. Continue. You know what? Let's have that gimp there. Run on, my please. This game is already in use. Gonna die too. Gonna die harder. Yes. Mwahaha. Play game. Quick join server. So I was having fun surviving, but then those bitches came along and really fucked me over. That wasn't fun at all. I mean, what was I supposed to do against that? I got one shot. Well, I suppose that's going to be the balance between zombies and humans. Zombies are going to be harder to kill, more endurance. Humans are going to be very hard, easy, harder, to, easier to kill, but of course they can run away and they can, of course, shoot you back. Stuck in zombies. Not too sure what I'm getting out there. Ah, there we go. <coughs> okay, let's get back into a game with this new character. Let's see if there's anything around. I bet I'm going to start in a safe zone, aren't I? With nothing around. That's really going to make my day. Okay, in the game. <sighs> Angry. I'm going to spawn somewhere close down here. Okay, I'm going to go straight ahead. There's a city over there somewhere. I'm going to completely avoid the city. Now I'm just going to run straight ahead there because there's, some, there's a name on the map there. So hopefully there'll be something. Let's see. I suppose the game will be more enjoyable as the game goes by. After all, it isn't still an alpha stage. There can be many improvements made to the game. There can be communities hopefully introduced into the game somehow. Maybe there'll be a way of in making it so that you don't... So you can kill people who you want, but there'll be more... What's the word? Encouragement to not kill everyone you fucking see. That's always one of the... Like, okay, I'm sorry, but the whole uh, open world uh, PvP game is very annoying. But systematic, if you don't want to play in a PvP game, don't play it, you little pussy. Yeah, I know you're going to say that. But this is supposed to be like a community open world game. Of course you can kill people. I don't actually mind that too much, but it's the fact that there isn't any alternative. That's what annoys me. There needs to be a way to think to yourself, Oh look, there's a person up there. I can kill him, but maybe he'll be able to benefit me somehow. And maybe there's a way that person can benefit me, and we can benefit each other. I remember in an interview with Rocket, somebody was talking to Rocket, I can't remember who, maybe it was Total Biscuit again. I mentioned him quite a few times, I do apologise, I just enjoy watching his videos on certain matters. And uh, I remember Rocket talking about things like being able to make your own towns in the game. That's actually a very interesting feature that we could... That I would like to see somewhere else as well. Now, I know there's, there's going to be instant zones instant zones in the game. But yeah, that was a bit of a mouthful for me, wasn't it? Okay, I have no torch or anything again. What the feck? Where's my torch? This isn't hardcore mode. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I got nothing on me? Chat's very interesting as well. Carves stop running down the road. They don't even care if you see them or not. They just shoot you. You sure hate me. Hey, oh, be right back. Lem, lem. They start shooting no matter what. Come, what's up, homie? Yo, dog. I wish that the stamina bar for the sprint would recharge a lot faster. Oh. There's the ambience. Look at that. You can zoom in even if you don't have anything in your hands. Don't even have anything to fight back with. Okay, zombie over there. Okay, so you walk slower when you're zoomed in, but I suppose it's going to allow me to survive a little easier. 
I hope nobody's around here. I hope nobody kills me. I don't want to be murdered. I want to help people. That's why I play these games, because I'm a helpful person. What's this? Chocolate bar, yay! Hopefully it's Cadbury's, they're my favourite. Oh no, what's this? We have some uh, water. I haven't heard any zombies yet, but hopefully if I stay far away from them, they won't notice me. Also, I don't really have any reason to sprint, except for my own uh, laziness, so I'm not going to be doing that too much. Let's see, I'm not spotting anybody. If you get slowed down when you're uh, zoomed in. <gasps> Chem lights. Oatmeal, yeah, I'll take that, why the heck not. And there's the Emirates again. Like I said, the Emirates is very good in this game. That's one of my favourite things about it. This feels good. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's Emirates and Daisy as well. Oh, shh! You did not see me, I am invisible. Oh. Yeah, he saw me. Fuck. Okay, so we're in another house. Binoculars? Yay, binoculars! That's gonna help me, isn't it? Especially when there's a fucking zombie around. Can I hit them with binoculars? Okay, let's try this quickly. Inventory. No, you cannot hit things with binoculars. That's that's very sad. That upsets me. No, it's got a nice zoom on it. Oh, zombie over there. I think I lost that zombie already. I guess that's a good thing. I guess the only thing I can do at the moment is just look around for watch out for survivors. Zombies everywhere. It's not going to be a very interesting at all. Of course, when you can, you can crouch down and reduce your sound and your vision, but unfortunately, you're going to be walking a lot slower. That's the downside to it. And in third-person view, of course, you can have a better job of looking around corners. There we go. It's going to take a time. Yeah, the game is starting to become more enjoyable again. It's just that when you run around for quite a while and you don't see anything, when there's nothing happening, it's it uh, quite frustrating. I find the emptiness is the enemy of the game. If there's more to it, if there's like more places where you can pick up items, even if there's items to pick up in the safe zone, that would be good. Hello there, sirs. How are you doing today? Shh. Gotta take it easy somehow. There we go. Surviving is fun. I like this. Surviving is nice and relaxing. Being chased isn't relaxing. Getting killed for no reason isn't relaxing. This is relaxing. This is... This is... Okay. Ah, it's just is nice and chilled now. Oh, fuck me. Sister Malik is not chilled anymore. It's okay, I guess that's why we have the sprint button. Okay, please help me find a flashlight. I don't want to die. What's this? Binoculars, bandages. Bandages would have been helpful. Okay, I don't suppose there's going to be any easy way to lose these zombies, is there? Hey, let's just walk normally. Let's see if they catch up to me. Okay, that's how far away they are. Maybe I can lose them out of the corner here. And then, shh, I didn't even see him. Fucking ninja zombies or something. Okay, so there you go. See, he catches up to me. That's not good. Why can't a zombie catch up to me? Zombies should at least be slower than you now. That's how I feel anyway. Zombies should be slower than you. Zombies can't jump through windows, so I guess that's a big plus. Okay, what's this? What's that? Chem light. Don't want a chem light. I want to. Oh, shit! Fucking zombies. Fucking dead ends. Dupe him. Duke him. Sh Shit's sake. Okay, get my breath again. Get my breath again. Oh boy, half dead already. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Okay, yeah, I do apologize for swearing an awful lot. Okay, I appear to have lost and that's good. Okay, so you can actually lose zombies rather easily. That's a plus. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's relaxing. Okay, binoculars are gonna be fun. Binoculars are gonna be good, yeah. Binoculars are my friends. Binoculars are my friends. Binoculars are my friends. But nice if I could actually hit zombies with the binoculars. And our chances are we're probably end up breaking it. But then again, you can hit zombies with a flashlight. Where's the harm in breaking that? I want a hammer. I want something that I can hit things with. More binoculars. Yay! There must be a binocular crisis going around. Maybe people thought there was going to be like a 
binocular sorted and they just stocked up on binoculars. Maybe that's part of the recession. Maybe that's what caused all this. Binoculars. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, if we control the burst of speed of our sprint, it might last a little longer. There we go. Land up all the zombies and load them one way. And then run another way. Okay, that's an empty building, isn't it? Yep, that's an unopenable building. Feck. What's this? Please be something I can use. Water, you know what? I'll take it. Why the fuck not? Okay, so I appear to have lost the zombies again. No, 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 I didn't. Fuck. I appear to be the only person in this place. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, shit! Fucking ninja zombies! Fucking ninja. There's another one! Look at that, he was nowhere near me! I'm dead. Look at that, I can't run now. Look at that, they're gonna catch up to me and I'm fucking dead. Why? Why, 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 why? Why do the zombies run faster than me? Why couldn't I run when I had low health? Ah, <sighs> okay. So we're gonna leave the video at this. This has been my second impression of the game. And uh, how can I describe it? Exactly like DayZ. Except for, it's more, uh, what's the word? It's more fluid, it's more intuitive, it's been improved upon. It would be like what, it's the kind of game that DayZ would be like if the interface was was updated for Mama 2. That's what I feel it would be. The options are better. Gameplay is exactly the same, open world PvP game with zombies in the background. Although I feel that the gameplay needs to be tweaked as well. You're wounded. Yeah, fuck you. I can revive this lassie lamp if I want, but unfortunately she's probably going to spawn with no items, isn't she? Ah, <sighs> the good old days. So I'm going to leave the video at this. This has been Day Z, the War Z, sorry, the, sorry, the above end of Z. This has been the War Z, and uh, that's all the time I have. I do apologise for sounding a bit bitchy and whiny, but unfortunately, you know, it's not been a positive experience for me. And uh, that's all the time I have. I've been Systematic, and a big thank you all for watching. Don't forget to pay your taxes and subscribe to join Sestonia today, and I will see you soon. Now it's time to go shout in a quiet corner somewhere. I don't know, that would leave a lot of stress, I think, shouting in a nice corner. That'd be good. That'd be great. Maybe the zombies will come along and eat me. Put me out of this fucking misery.